Estering is the final round of the 2017 FIA European Championship for touring cars in Rallycross. That series has actually been won already when we reach this point in the final. Lars Oivind Enneberg has taken the title. But we can now show you the grid for those who are in that last fight for a top step on the podium. On the front row, Bratton and Larsen. Row two, Nordgaard and Gunderson, last year's champion. And row three, Volders and Philip German. Larsen and Bratton up front. Should be a decent fight. Difficult for these guys in the slippery conditions in the Joker lap. Of course, rear wheel drive two litre. Hal Ridge joins me on commentary duties for this one. Green light, bad start at the back of the grid. That was Holders, I think, who's gone backwards. Three abreast on the run up the hill. That's absolutely terrible for Larsen as well, who's gone backwards from P2 down into P5. It's Bratton who leads up into the first corner. How that looked like a problem for me. And again, the, the, in, the, in the rear, it looks like he's stalled almost in the hairpin. It does, yeah. It was quite a tidy first corner, wasn't it? They all kept it very neat. No one ran really deep. They didn't allow the ones at the back to come forward. It didn't. And now uh, we see that uh, Bratton has lost a place on the run down the hill. Not ideal for him. Bump hanging off already. So I assume that was from just a little bit of contact in uh, the first corner. David Norgard leading here. If he can secure a victory here, it'll make up for a really difficult season for the young driver. We have seen mixed fortunes, haven't we? You know, when you look at last year's champion, Gunderson, the number one car, just, just hasn't been able to put it together this year. Currently P7 in the championship, hasn't even had a podium. Yeah, his year started complicatedly when he failed scrutineering in the first round for damage that had existed for a while. And he's struggled to fight back from that. He secured the championship by finishing fifth here. I think last year he won the championship by a point over Michael Anderson. Again, he's looking for a great result to finish his season off. So Nordgaard leading from Bratten. P3 is Gunderson. Gunderson could, as I say, get that podium here. That would be nice. I think Bratten has now completely lost the rear bumper. Yeah, it's gone. That's fine. Up one over the gravel section. This will give us a good idea of the track. And this actually looking pretty smooth. The organiser worked very hard. He saw a big hole up there on the first day of the weekend. Ah, Gunderson makes a late decision to go into the joke up there. That, to me, was very, very last minute indeed. And he's followed in by German. It was, yeah. I mean, like, German wouldn't have expected him to go then, or at least didn't expect him to go because he followed him. He wouldn't normally want to follow someone in like that. That's the right move from Gunderson. He had to get out of that traffic. He was right up behind the two leaders. That's the best way he's going to make progress now to talk to victory. It would be nice carrying the number one on your car, wouldn't it, if at the end of the year you reminded yourself of the confidence that you had the previous season? Because when you have a year like this and you're the champion, it does knock your confidence, and you want to finish on a high ahead of next season. Absolutely, and the, the saying goes that you're only as good as your last result. So to score a good result at the end of the year is what everyone's trying to achieve. It. They certainly are. All guard through the right hander, and Bratton goes to the Joker. So Bratton's gone to the Joker, trying to defend from Gunderson. Gunderson comes around the last right and the left, but look how hard the traction is here. Bratton's not got the best Joker. Up. Gunderson's going to come up the inside, and I think he's going to take the place he does. So Gunderson gets the place. How I think Bratton, I'm afraid, made a mistake in the Joker. Yeah, it looks so frustrating with a real drive car, doesn't it? With the supercars, you see them struggling for traction. Real wheel drive, you just sit there waiting for it to find some grip to drag you back up the hill again. You've got to be so patient, haven't you? I mean, we've seen, so, as you say, the supercars, even they with a tiny mistake are in the back on the outside. But these guys are just waiting on the throttle, trying to try and desperately to move forward. Volders has managed to catch up. Very, very sideways there from German on the way into the corner of the bottom of the hill. There we go, now the bumper gone. Bit of weight safe for uh, Volders. That'll be fine, I'm sure. Here comes Gunderson, right in past the competition there is uh, Norcar. Norcar got a problem, because it seemed to be a bit of a ghost on one. Sorry, German. German through the left, who seems OK. A bit sideways, but nothing other than that. Volders right behind him. Up into the hairpin. When they lose the bumpers, you do realise how little there is behind there, don't you, in a rally cross car? They have a kind of a bumper bar, which is regulated by the FIA, isn't it, to stop people effectively nerfing everybody off in front of them. Yeah, if I produced Fiesta bumpers, I'd be handing out some business cards after this race. It's been, uh, they're not held up particularly well, are they? <laughs> I think Peugeot bumpers would also be uh, a good one to be on to and see the cars there are announced for uh, shedding those as well. Norgard then, the only driver yet to have joked. Norgard is in the lead. He has a lead of about 3.6 from Ben Philip Gunderson. Yeah, I think Gunderson's got this. He's been closing up Norgard. And the joke is so slow because of the, the, the claggy loose section. I think he can, uh, the Gunderson can do this. OK, Gunderson then off for the win, says how rich. I think it'll be a great finish to his season. He was uh, 11th in Spain, 4th in the semi in the Belgium. He's 4th in the final in the UK. J just hasn't had a decent result. 6th in the semis in Norway, so this will be a massive result. Watching for Norgard when he goes to the Joker. Yeah, but he's caught Larsen. He'll want to hope that doesn't hold him up too much. It doesn't. 
Norgaard into the Joker. This is what it's all about. Watch for Gunderson in the background. So Gunderson come around in North last end in the slow white car. Ben Villain Gunderson's last year's touring car champion takes the final win of the year here at the Estering. P2 goes to Norgaard. And Braten holds on for P3. Last end there, lapped at the end. So Ben Philip Gunderson finally with a decent result here, Hal, uh, he'd be really pleased with that. Yeah, I think the first and second bases will be delighted with that. Broughton will be a bit disappointed. He's been really strong this weekend, and he could have scored a victory had things gone a German, slightly different way. German back. and Broughton were very close on points coming here, or six points between them, but then that was tied to after qualifying semis. We'll bring you the standings in just a few short moments. Hal, a few words for us about the champion as well, because, of course, he didn't make it through to the final here, but Lars Oibin in Denneberg. Yeah, unusual not to see me in the final, isn't it? He's, he's been the class of the field. He won the championship in 2011. Won it again this year, he's, he's been pretty dominant. Absolutely, three wins, Belgium, UK and Norway for Enneberg. We'll hear from him in uh, the World Rallycross Championship TV show today. Donuts for the touring car, guys. That is something which they can do over a Super 1600 car. It is, yeah, but you've got to pull it off, haven't you? If you fail to do it, donut when you attempt it, it's even more embarrassing than not trying to do it in the first place. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. We, we need, you need donut training. Don't, pro only. Do not win and then do a bad donut. It's terrible. There we are, touring car race over in the background. Ah, oh, you see, and as we say that now, we've got bad... OK, now we've got synchronised donuts. We had good donut, bad donut, now synchronised donuts. Touring car boys putting on a bit of a show for the crowd. You can see they appreciate it from the applause in the background. I'm not sure the marshals will appreciate picking up a, a thousand pieces of rear bumper, which seem to be down there at the hairpin as well. All the mechanics when you know you've got all that work to fix and you didn't even score a good result. Yes, <laughs> they won't be over the moon, will they? Their poor old last end. That, to me, was an issue right at the start of the race because he, he was terribly slow getaway. Ben Philip Gunderson takes the final win of the year from Nordgaard, Braten, German, Volders and Chetil Larsen, who we saw lapped and uh, I think with a problem away from the line. And uh, we'll try to bring you the championship points before we go. And, of course, we'll be able to see European Championship for touring cars again next season. I look back at that start. See what I mean about last centre? You know, you think an issue straight away? Yeah, I think so. And, and uh, Volders at the back just reacted slowly, didn't he? Yeah, Volders lost out there. Bit of a bum in turn one, but nothing to it. And again, you see Volders lost out again. And last end again, I think that points towards technical. Uphill hairpin, you know, no power. And I said it was tight in the first corner, but Norgard did really well to hang on to the barrier on the inside and have the inside line for the hairpin at the bottom of the hill. So tidily done, especially with only the two driven wheels. This was Ben Philip Gunderson. Last minute decision to Joker, absolutely not the right one to do, Hal. It really was last minute, so he dove off to the right, the left, didn't we? We didn't think he was going to do that, and then, you know, managed to managed to take the positions he needed to to get the hammer down and chase the leader. Yeah, it really worked out for him, didn't it? Because he also covered off German behind him, who could easily have leapfrogged him had he stayed behind the top two for another lap and lost more time. It's a good decision, whether it was the spotter or the driver, of course, we don't know. That was uh, side by side up at the hairpin. Or guard into the Joker, and as Hal Ridge rightly pointed out, of course, the Joker here is very slow. And if you look in the background, there was last end on a go slow, Ben Philip Gunderson on a go fast. He managed to take the win from North Guard. There are the final championship standings after round five, the end of the season for 2017. A worthy champion in Lars Oivind Enneberg taking three wins this year, Belgium, UK and Norway. Anders Neumann, Bra 10, moves up to second place in the championship and German drops down from P2 to P3 here. That is your podium. Those are the guys who will be picking up the big trophies at the gala dinner at the end of the year. Well done to all the competitors this year. Fantastic action as always. My thanks to Hal Ridge and we look forward to you joining us for more Touring Car action in 2018. Team.